Aha, that is your hiding spot. Good to know. Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's pet pairing. As you saw, Lisa just jumped into the closet. I think that's her hiding spot during the day. So I that's the reason why I never really like bothered closing the um, door of the walk-in closet anymore. I know it doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, but I'd rather not lock up Lisa there for the whole day. Anyway, I'm going to start doing my makeup starting with my uh, Inglot eyeshadow base. I finally watched the uber popular Wednesday on Netflix. So today I'm going to like briefly talk about the show, but I'm also thinking that the makeup is sort of going to be inspired by the show. I have like a pair of um, like anthracit gray trousers, a black sweater, and I'm planning on wearing, and that is very exciting as well, I'm planning on wearing heels today. I have this really beautiful pair of heels, like a uh, red heels, and I'm planning on wearing them today for the first time after the accident. The last time I wore heels was October, the day I broke my foot, and basically since then I either have not been able or I haven't really had the balls for it. So I think today I finally feel confident enough taking the uh, Too Faced Laminating Brow Wax thingy. Uh, I the heels that I'm wearing by the way they're not like stilettos or something they're like they have like a really thick solid uh, heel that, um, that that's just really comfortable and I feel confident enough that my foot isn't going to do any weird things and uh, freak me out so I'm actually quite excited about that because I've been really missing wearing heels I have so many like dresses and outfits that I haven't really worn this past winter just because in my head they fit with heels and they don't really fit with sneakers. It's the time of the month and I feel like when it's the time of the month my skin is a little bit more oily and you know it gets greasier throughout the day so I think I need uh, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation which for some reason I consider to be my more longer lasting foundation even though to be quite honest with you I think in reality that's not true. Like all of my foundations are more or less the same type of like formula and longevity. Well, I do have the Estee Lauder uh, original foundation and that one lasts really well. But it's brand new and I haven't opened it and I don't really want to open it unless I have finished at least the Pat McGrath foundation. I'm going to take my little sponge here. I am enjoying, I have been enjoying using a sponge to apply my base products again. So I'm kind of going back to that, switching it up a bit. So just to like finish up on the rambling on, you know, finally being able to wear heels again. Something that I didn't really think about much until recently when I was like going through my closet thinking what to wear. Um, like in the beginning of this winter I bought a bunch of new sweaters and I had um, like my legging jeans to wear my sweaters with and with sneakers I felt really cute and for a long time I was super into that aesthetic and I didn't really miss my usual aesthetic which is a little bit more you know elegant than that this was more like a sporty elegant aesthetic and i usually go for like a more elegant aesthetic and in the beginning i didn't really mind it it was fine but after a while i was almost experiencing an identity crisis because i couldn't really wear what i would usually wear and i felt a little bit like who am i anymore you know what a vain thing to say but like it really felt that way Okay, going for another product that I usually find like extends the longevity. Oh no, wait, we haven't done concealer yet. Hold that thought, please. I am uh, going to actually apply a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's color corrector first, because like I said, it's the time of the month. And I do feel like my dark circles really come out to play during that time. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that and I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer over top of that. For concealer I'm going to take my First Aid Beauty one. Um, I have really been enjoying wearing the faux filter from Huda together with my Lancome. But I also realized in the end I didn't actually finish this one just yet. So I might as well focus on finishing as much of it as possible. Honestly this is almost empty so... I don't expect that it will really take that long and I'm not really the type that will take out stoppers and try to get every last drop and bit out of a product. I like finishing things but unless it's something that I'm deeply attached to and I can't live without I will not really you know go out of my way to finish it. 
I will finish as much as possible, especially with liquid products. I'm not going to bother trying to get every last drop out of it. I've gotten a lot of use out of this concealer. It will be fine if I don't finish every last microliter of it. Okay, let's do the powder now. I'm going to take the Airbrush Flawless Filter here from Charlotte Tilbury. And in fact, I'm going to use a technique for applying my um, powder as well that I haven't used in a while, which is with a sponge. I will just coat the sponge with a very thin layer and I'm going to just press it like this onto my skin. And that actually works really well as well. But anyway, I mentioned that I finally watched uh, Wednesday. I'm going to take the Nabla Skin Glazing Skin Bronzing in the shade Dune. I finally watched Wednesday after months of refusing to watch it because it was just too popular. I I've mentioned this before, but for whatever reason, when a show is just too popular, it's a real, a real turn off for me. Uh, I have the same thing with The White Lotus on HBO Max. It was nominated for a bunch of awards and I think I am very, very intrigued to watch it because I am a huge fan of Jennifer Coolidge, but uh, because it's so popular, I don't want to watch it, but I will eventually. So finally, I did watch Wednesday. And, okay, if you asked me to describe Wednesday in a nutshell, I would say Sherlock Holmes meets Tim Burton, but then make it Gen Z. Honestly, it was fun. It was not the huge deal I feel like everyone's making it to be. Was it enjoyable to watch? Was it a good, you know, eight hours spent? Yes. Would I probably watch season two and enjoy it? Likely. Was Jenna Ortega amazing? Like, that's, like, hyping Jenna Ortega is definitely legit. I can see um, why everyone is losing their minds over her. She is adorable. I'm going to grab Nude Venus 2 for my blush today. A very enjoyable watch but not the kind of show where I absolutely like already like in the morning was looking forward to the evening when I would continue watching like with The Outsider and True Detective season 3 the previous two shows that I talked about over the past couple of weeks I had that feeling already like in the morning waking up going to work and then uh, towards the end of the day thinking yay I'm going to go home I'm going to make a delicious meal and I'm going to continue watching my show this was more like chill. It's only eight episodes, so I binged through it rather quickly, also because I just wanted to finish it, to talk about it today. You know, on Wednesdays we talk about Wednesday. It's been a while since I used the hockey puck, so let's take Champagne Gold, which is a very old holiday release highlighter from Pat McGrath Labs. You could definitely recognize Tim Burton's style and aesthetic, but I don't think it was like too Tim Burton-esque. Oh, is this still silver? Hmm, maybe I applied a little bit too much. I'm gonna have to tone that down. The characters are certainly fun. I think it was a great idea to involve Christina Ricci, you know, as a little throwback to the old series. And speaking of the old series, I will be completely honest with you. I've never really watched anything pertaining to the Adams Family very consistently. I'm aware with the... Um, cultural reference but I've never like I know thing I want I know Uncle Fester I know you know Morticia and Gomez and Wednesday and I couldn't really tell you the name of the brother for the life of me but like I was aware of the reference but I've never really like watched it or knew much about it to have much of a reference point comparing to the show now so I'm going to take the uh, smooth buffer just to tone down that highlighter here a little bit because I applied to slightly too much so I don't really know that I can comment much. I'm going to spritz my uh, sponge with Fix Plus on the accuracy of, you know, how the story or the characters are represented. I'm sure that they've changed a lot of things to like modernize it, to tell it in a new way because nobody wants to regurgitate the same old story over and over again. Everyone probably wanted like a fresh new view on the Adams Family. I've zoomed you in a tiny bit and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do for makeup. And with that, I want to say what exactly is going to be sort of inspired by the show. So for the eye look today, I'm going to go for a like Wednesday inspired makeup, but I'm not going to do like a black panda eye. I'm going to like um, make it a bit more like monochromatic lacking color in a way. 
but I'm not going to just use a black eyeshadow. So I am going to use uh, my favorite black eyeshadow at the moment, which is Dark Matter from Pat McGrath Labs. You can take any black eyeshadow that you have in your collection. And I'm going to uh, apply it a little bit as my usual wing liner shape, just slightly smudge it out. And then I am going to apply this shade here from the Decadence palette all over the lid and also I think a little bit over top of that black liner just to like tone it down a bit and I'm going to take that shadow all the way up to my crease because it's one of those like satiny shades that uh, can easily double as a matte eyeshadow and it has this beautiful like cooler taupey tone to it and what I think I'm going to do after that is I'm going to layer just the tiniest bit of this silver um, because I was originally thinking of just doing the black and the silver but this silver is just so stark that I think it's going to clash with what I want to do for my lips so I want to have it in the look incorporated somehow to a very like a limited capacity but not it overtaking the look so I'm going to like try to apply the tiniest bit of this over top of this shade so just kind of like mix the two shades no idea how that's going to turn out we are all experimenting here um, I think I'm going to put this one lightly in my inner corners it's possible and I already have taken out Divine Rose 1 that we are going to put a little bit of Astral Solstice for some extra pizzazz and sparkle um, and that's pretty much going to be it sort of like a, you know no color just like black and white sort of inspired by Wednesday um, aesthetic. As I mentioned for the lips, I am going to wear a ribbon because if any of you were paying attention... Oh, 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 oh. All right, you guys, uh, we are going to interrupt this video for some breaking news. I would like to present to you Exhibit A. This is my lunch. This is my like cheese sandwich with a couple of cherry tomatoes. I just saw our orange friend in our backyard with a piece of bread in his mouth and I thought how on earth I like hid everything from him. Yesterday he had raided our like a uh, little like closet under the stairs. He had managed to rip off a couple of packages of wet food from the ladies and devour them. And he had like, he had made a complete mess. So I already locked that closet. There is a, like a key, I can lock it. And I removed everything from our kitchen counter that he can get his paws off. So I was like, where did you get that bread? And then I thought, oh no, this is not the first time he's trying to raid my lunch. But today he took it to a whole new level, y'all. Look at that. Okay, we're being distracted by all sorts of things. I'm never going to make it to work today. So I'm going to start doing my makeup here. I'm going to apply the black eyeshadow, as I mentioned, as a bit of like a winged liner shape. Um, and I was talking about why I want to wear a ribbon. Already a couple of months ago, I didn't fail to notice when Lisa Eldridge shared a photo of one of the characters from Adam's, uh, Adam's Wednesday on set. And she mentioned that the character was wearing ribbon so obviously as soon as I started watching the show I was paying close attention to which character is going to wear a signature red color it wasn't really all that hard to figure it out once um, the head of the school of Nevermore was introduced um, headmaster Weems I think her name was played by an extremely tall and uh, mesmerizing woman who I had never seen in a TV show before but I'm going to pay close attention now because she was absolutely fabulous she was wearing a red lip and I'll be honest with you if I didn't know that that was ribbon I don't know that I would have recognized it because as unique as ribbon is it's still a red lipstick and in a sea of red lipsticks it's really hard to say uh, which one is which I do have a superpower in recognizing lipstick colors but it needs to be something a little bit more recognizable. Like I think Rain from Lisa Eldridge or like some other shades from her are a little bit more recognizable. I think I recognized once Jessica Chastain wearing one of her lipsticks in a movie, like one of the velvets. With a uh, ribbon, as much as I adore ribbon, I'm not sure that I would have recognized it. I might have thought, hey, this looks a little bit like ribbon. I think he's back. It is surely an exciting morning. Marmalade name Marmalade, one of you suggested we call him that, was indeed back to raid the rest of my lunch. But I've already taken it here, so haha, the joke's on him. I'm going to take this brush now and sort of like 
smudge this black out not that it needs to be smudged more but like I said I don't actually want it to be overly dramatic I just want to emulate a little bit of like those black circles I'm not going to emulate them under my eyes because we're not going for that aesthetic anyway now I'm going to take this taupe shade here so because of that because of this character I did think it would be also appropriate to wear ribbon today I never really have a problem with wearing ribbon it's, you know it's my favorite red in my collection but anyway going back to talking about the show like I said it was an enjoyable watch um, I think because people had hyped it so much the expectations were set really high and I don't know that it really lives up to such a high standard I think it was an okay show but it wasn't like a revelation or something and I certainly feel like in the first half it suffered from some serious like I don't know if you would call it plot holes or let's call it plot holes for a lack of better word one thing that was uh, that bothered me a little bit in the first few episodes is uh, Wednesday goes to that Nevermore school and she immediately makes a bunch of friends and grabs the interest of two guys and you would think you know if she had any like even remote interest in pursuing any of these relationships it would not be surprising but she made it abundantly clear on multiple occasions to all of these characters that she was not interested in any sort of like relationship with them so it is puzzling to me why all of these people like what was the motivation of all of these people to become her friends and like her like towards the end there was a bit of a relationship built so i can see how towards the last like two three episodes you would understand a bit more why there is more of an emotional connection there but in the first few episodes they all of a sudden were just her friends they decided to be either like infatuated with her romantically or her friends and i was like why though to me it's a natural human reaction that if you meet someone and they you know make it quite uh obvious that they're not interested in being your friend you're like well okay moving on obviously this is not going to turn into anything uh, I'm by the way going to take a little bit of that taupe shade now and take it on my lower lashes as well before we proceed with the rest of this look which was otherwise you know a fun watch because of that like Charlotte of Charlotte because of that Sherlock Holmes uh, element to it I do enjoy me you know a good mystery although I have to say that even in that aspect I found the show just a tiny bit predictable because I think I predicted that um, Christina Ricci's character is going to be who she turned out to be. I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Uh, I predicted she would be the person she would be quite like early on. But it did also still manage to surprise me because the character of um, Tyler, one of the boys that's infatuated with her, the plot twist with him, I did not see that one coming. I'm sorry if I'm giving away too many plots. It's impossible to talk about it without really mentioning any of the twists and turns. Okay, now for the really exciting part. I'm going to just do this in the silver eyeshadow and I'm going to build it up that way instead of like swirling in there and going in straight because I think already as it is, this shadow is, um, this eyeshadow is just so intense that you need the tiniest bit so I'm going to repeat the same on this eye and I'm going to try to contain myself I always have the urge to just stick my finger into eyeshadows and then rub them all over my eyes because I like things to be to their full opacity but today I really have to remind myself that I'm going to wear ribbon so I don't want the eyes to be completely like dramatic and overblown and I also think uh, in this way we also have some space for um, glitter. So I'm going to take this silver shade now and apply it a bit more concentrated in my inner corner because it is still a really beautiful shade and we do want to see it pop in its full glory. Look at that. But without overtaking the whole look. Just the inner corners here. Just to go back to commenting on a Wednesday, same thing goes for her sort of protagonistic antagonistic relationship with the sheriff the father of the guy that uh, is um, in love with her one of the guys he like lets her cross all sorts of boundaries without really too much of repercussions which also seems like an odd character choice you know what i think i'm just going to pop the tiniest little bit 
of the black eyeshadow here in the very outer edge of the eye just so it connects to the upper lashes a bit more you know smoothly and I don't know about you but I certainly think there is space in this look for a little bit of astral solstice so I'm going to bust out my divine rose one you can bust out your midnight sun and we're going to pop a few sparkles because is it going to be a bad pairing if we don't apply any glitter beautiful I really enjoy how this look turned out. I think this is as Wednesday as it is going to get for me. As I mentioned, of course, I'm wearing a ribbon, the lipstick together with the uh, matching lip liner. So I, yeah, I really enjoyed this pet pairing. I really enjoyed chatting to you about Wednesday. I, it's very hard to talk about a TV show without giving too much away. So I, I never really go into like nitty gritty details unless I give a disclaimer that I'm going to reveal a whole lot of like uh, plot lines. But in this specific case, I just wanted to comment a little bit on the show and how I felt about it. I'm curious what you thought about it, if you have watched it. Or maybe one thing that I can comment on. I think one of the reasons I don't really relate to that much... Uh, I think one of the reasons I don't really relate to this show so much is also because, like I mentioned, to me this is like, you know, Sherlock Holmes meets Tim Burton, but then make it Gen Z. I think the Gen Z part is that I really can't relate to. You can... Like, there are certain shows now that are you know set in a high school a little bit of that high school vibe to them and obviously as a 40 year old it's a little bit harder for me to relate to such stories but you know i still found this enjoyable to watch anyway i have to go figure out what to do with my lunch now and head to work as usual thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye